Hey guys, it's Shelby, and today we're going to be talking about zero-way swaps for beginners and advanced swaps. And there's a very specific reason I wanted to make this video at this time, and that is because today is the first day I'm sitting down to record a video since this channel hit 200,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Just the craziest feeling to think that I have been able to influence that many people enough to hit a subscribe button. It makes me feel so fulfilled to know that that many people have heard my message and um, that we are actually like making a real difference. I mean, that's that's a lot of people. I'm actually thinking about making a video specifically dedicated to the impact that that many people can have and kind of like doing the calculations and outlines and all that kind of stuff. So maybe I'll do that. Stay tuned for when that happens. But just in general, that is a huge number that I don't take lightly at all. I'm sure if you've been watching this channel, you know how important this is to me. It's literally what I've dedicated my entire life to. This is not some little trend for me. I went to school for this, this is what I'm doing with my life, and to be able to know that I can reach that many people is amazing. So thank you so, so much if you've already hit that subscribe button. I am going to be announcing my 200,000 subscriber giveaway at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But this video is because with that many people here, you guys, there are so many of you who are new to the channel and new to the zero waste and or sustainability movement who need tips for beginners. And with 200,000 people being here, and me being here for the last three years, I'm sure a lot of you are advanced or you know, you already have the basics down and you want more advanced tips. So with all of that in mind, I decided why not make a video that kind of incorporates both so that someone who is wanting more advanced tips can hear this and when they hear the basic tip, they go, oh, I've already done that, I'm good. Then they hear the advanced one and they're like, oh, okay, I can start doing that. And if you're someone who is brand new to this movement, you get the beginner advice and you have something also to look forward to once you get the beginner thing down. So that's where this video idea came from. I hope it's a good video at this point on the channel to do. I also just want to give a huge thank you before we get started to Earth Hero because they've been a huge supporter of this channel for over a year now. And every time I talk about, you know, zero waste swaps, I got to mention Earth Hero because they are the one stop shop for sustainable living. Not just with zero waste swaps, they have things over there for your kids, for clothing, for your home, etc. And you can always go check them out because I have a discount code with them, Shelby10 for 10% off of your entire purchase. So if you're ever in the market for anything sustainable, make sure you check out Earth Hero first and use that discount code. Earth Hero has some great benefits aside from just being a one-stop shop for sustainability, such as their five-step process to ensure everything that is coming into their store is an actual eco-friendly company, down to the fact that they offset all of their carbon emissions and are part of 1% for the planet. So you can always feel comfortable supporting Earth Hero. I thank them so much because at this 200,000 milestone, they've really helped me get here. I do believe that because without sponsors, I couldn't do what I do. So huge thank you to you guys for subscribing and being here. Huge thank you to Earth Hero for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel overall and without getting any more mushy and so that I don't cry with my sick voice as well. Let's just get into the swaps. One of the most basic swaps of all is a water bottle. And so many people out there who don't care about sustainable living or anything like that carry around water bottles or water jugs or things like that with them to refill and have with them throughout the day because water is obviously super essential to human life and uh, it just makes you feel really good when you get enough water in every day. A reusable water bottle can obviously help you save on plastic water bottles because it's so strange, but that seems to be the standard in a lot of people's households, in their minds, in their everyday lives is just to grab a plastic water bottle and take it to the gym. I really hate going to the gym sometimes, you guys. I don't see plastic water bottles that often anymore until I go to the gym. And I genuinely want one day to just go and buy a ton of clean canteens and hand them out at the gym. <laughs> oh my God, how cool would that be to get clean canteen to work with me on a video like that? Or Earth Hero. If you guys, you're watching this obviously. Maybe we should do that. Anyway, water bottle is the basic swap. You guys know that the one I usually carry is from Clean Canteen. It is insulated because I like to keep my water cold and it is Clean Canteen's plastic free version of their water bottle, which you can get on Earth Hero, like I said. The advanced swap to this is to start thinking about conserving water, right? Using a reusable water bottle actually conserves water as well. Every product in the world has a water footprint. It takes water to produce pretty much anything in the world. And specifically with plastic water bottles, the amount of water it takes to produce that bottle generally takes three times the amount of water that bottle 
holds. So a 20 ounce water bottle would take about 60 ounces of water to create. So as an advanced swap, try to get creative about how to conserve water in your household. There are a ton of ways to do this, which I think I'm going to try to make a blog post and you can go check that out. But one really fun way that recently Madison and I uh, took upon ourselves, a project we took upon ourselves, was to install a rainwater barrel. So if you haven't seen that video where we did that, I'll link it right here. It was super fun. But the advanced swap is yes, to look for ways in your home to start conserving water. Because while we do live on a planet with a lot of water, water is not a renewable resource and once it gets contaminated, in some cases, it cannot be cleaned. It is the most valuable resource on this planet and we should treat it as such. Next basic swap is grocery bags. And most people, I think, know about this one, obviously, but not a lot of people remember to bring their grocery bags. So if you are new to this movement, you've gotta come up with a system to try to help yourself remember your grocery bags. Luckily though, the grocery bags I highly, highly recommend are by Chico and they are collapsible. So I very rarely don't have a bag on me, including when I'm at a store unexpectedly, including when I'm at a store with someone else who's buying something and might be getting a bag. It's so easy to pull out these Chico bags, uncollapse them, use them, and as soon as you unload the bag, stuff it back into its little pod and put it back into your bag. They are life changing. And they also have collapsible produce bags. So I always have a few of those on hand. I have not had to get a plastic grocery bag in years. So obviously that's a way you can save plastic during your grocery shopping. But a way that you can save even more waste is actually to start thinking about more eco-friendly ways to get your groceries. So maybe shopping at a different retailer that has local produce, that's going to eliminate a lot of greenhouse gases from having your items shipped all over the place. You can get even more creative and go dumpster diving for your food or just find services that kind of do it for you. I used to be a dumpster diver. A lot of you guys know that. If you don't, you could do some digging on this channel and find challenges where Madison and I only ate food from a dumpster for an entire week. You'd be surprised how easy that was, which makes me sad. Dumpster diving, however, is a very time consuming hobby. So now we purchase most of our produce from a service called Imperfect Food. It used to be called Imperfect Produce, but now they have more than just produce. So I think they're just called Imperfect Food. Basically services like this are the middlemen stopping those grocers from throwing out the things that are maybe going to go bad soon or are weird looking. That's actually where Imperfect Food got their name because a lot, like 40% of foods that are grown in the US get thrown out based on their looks. So Imperfect Produce stepped in, took all that stuff and sold it to us for a much lower price. You can get organic produce on Imperfect Foods for so cheap and you're saving all of that food from the landfill. So that is a more advanced thing to do if it is available to you. I have a discount code with Imperfect Foods. I'll link it below. I think it's $10 off of your first box if you wanna give it a try. And when I first started using them, they were not everywhere, but they have expanded so much. So definitely check it out and if they're not already in your area, you can get on the wait list for when they do. This next swap is one that so many people talk about the kind of advanced version of, but there's also a step below it if you're not ready to go there, which not a lot of people talk about. So if you're interested in trying to make your period routine more sustainable, then you don't have to jump necessarily to the reusable underwear and the period reusable cup, which we're gonna get to because that's the advanced swap, I think. Obviously I'm already there, have been there for years, would never go back but I can understand moving from pads or regular tampons into those things can seem very intimidating for so many reasons. And I'll make a whole video about my period routine soon, I promise. But if you wanna make an easier switch, I would highly recommend switching to things like organic cotton pads and or organic cotton tampons without the little plastic applicators. Organic cotton is incredibly less resource intensive as well as a lot better for your parts down there. Not to mention using a tampon without the little plastic applicator is obviously much more environmentally friendly. So those items are sold over on Earth Hero. If you wanna check them out, sometimes they can be harder to find in your local store. So definitely wanted to let you know that that resource is available on Earth Hero. If you're someone who is just using conventional items right now, maybe give those a try as your gateway over into the advanced swap, which is obviously a period cup. My fiance personally uses the Diva Cup and she loves that thing swears by it, she would never go back. And I personally use Think's underwear, which is uh, kind of 
a journey of someone who used to wear tampons and then the journey of someone who used to wear pads. I would never go back to single use pads after using my Thinks. It's so much more comfortable and I do have a discount code with Thinks as well. I think it's $10 off as well. So I'll have a lot of links for you in the description box to go check out. But yeah, I just wanted to say that because I feel like a lot of people in Zero Waste Swaps video, they go straight to get a cup or get your Thinks. And I understand that because for a lot of us, you know, we've been through a few cycles. We off our disposable products and making our way into the reusables but for some people it's not that simple so I did want to put that in here for those of you who are maybe struggling in that department all right so this next one isn't necessarily a swap but it is sort of like a habit an action something like that the beginner swap here would be to support carbon neutral companies so companies who are offsetting their carbon footprints I don't think that we're ever going to see well maybe we will maybe someday but I don't think in my lifetime we're ever going to see where companies are able to operate without emitting any carbon emissions right especially like online retailers who are shipping things I think shipping is just a part of our economy at this point I don't think we're going back Backwards there but something you can do as a beginner is look to support carbon neutral companies who are offsetting those carbon footprints earth hero does this as I mentioned they are a carbon neutral company they offset all of the carbon emissions from their shipping from their distribution all that sort of stuff so it's very easy to look for companies that are doing this and support them that's kind of the beginner thought process here so if you're a beginner and you're looking to purchase anything from a more eco-friendly source always check and see if they are offsetting their carbon emissions and then as an advanced swap you can offset your carbon emissions. Recently, I talked about how I do mine through Go Climate Neutral. If you wanna hear more about how I do that, I'll link that video here. You guys can go check it out. But it's pretty simple, and I think a lot of people think that offsetting your carbon emissions is expensive, and it's really not. I mean, I understand that it won't fit into everybody's budget, but I think I pay six or seven dollars a month, and that offsets my entire carbon footprint from my driving, my electricity use at my house, the f amount of flights I take in a year, it adds all those things up, calculates my entire carbon footprint, and then I can pay it off every single month. It may not be for everybody, but it is something that I personally do. So uh, that is the advanced swap for this one. Next up is shopping for clothing. So the beginner swap here would definitely be thrifting. It's something I started doing years ago, and I do know actually that thrifting can be pretty intimidating to beginners. Walking into a store full of unorganized, a lot of times clothes, sometimes they're organized by color, organized. Sometimes they're organized by size, but all in all, it's a ton of different brands, a ton of different fits, and you are thrown into this giant world that takes a while to get used to. But I do think it is more a beginner than starting to purchase from sustainable brands. So I would say that the beginner swap is thrifting and the advanced swap is buying from sustainable brands. Now you also never have to make it over to purchasing from sustainable brands. If you think that you can thrift everything that you ever would want or need in your wardrobe, by all means go ahead and do that but at some point if you find yourself needing something in your wardrobe that would be of high quality that you know you would keep for a long time or that it's just like a dream item that you haven't been able to find thrifting you can turn to more sustainable brands like I mentioned in the beginning Earth Hero does sell some sustainable clothing brands on their site so you can check those out and you can also check out my series where I spend a thousand dollars and test out a bunch of different sustainable clothing I'll link one of those videos right here for you guys to check out if you are curious about sustainable clothing and you're looking to get more advanced in that area. This next swap also has to do with clothes, but it has to do with the fibers that come off of your clothes. So you guys might have heard me talk before about how microfibers can come off of your clothes if they're made from polyester and not natural materials. And they can get into our water systems and our water filter systems are not catching those teeny tiny plastic particles and they're ending up in our oceans and they're also ending up in our drinking water. So finding ways to catch those plastic pollutants before they make it there is a really great thing to do. And the beginner swap here could be something like a Cora ball. This ball is meant to go into your washer, catch all those little plastic fibers, and then you can take them off and remove them from the water cycle. I call this a beginner swap because if you don't own your home, you're not gonna be able to do the advanced swap that I'm about to tell you about, but Earth Hero does have the Cora ball, so I'm gonna have it linked in the description. But the advanced swap is having a actual microfiber filter hooked onto your washing machine. I recently shared a vlog where me and Madison tried to install ours. It was a bit finicky, but I'll link that video right here and 
end in the description if you guys want to check it out. Also, this girlfriend filter is pretty affordable. I thought it was going to be hundreds of dollars and turns out it was really, really affordable. So I'll have it linked for you in the description if that's something you're willing to do and ready for, but I thought it would include it here. I think overall, the thought of actually filtering plastic from your washing machine is a pretty advanced swap in general, but those two swaps, I think there is one that's pretty simple and easy, and then there's one that's more complicated and advanced. So I wanted to include both of those. Now here's a swap where I am in the beginner stages and I don't know that I want to go to the advanced stages because I've tried it before and I don't want to go back. The beginner swap here is buying your paper products out of recycled materials. So paper products can be certified forestry safe um, or they can be made from recycled materials. So paper that has already been used and recycled into toilet paper. I would consider it a beginner swap to be able to buy those items made from recycled paper. It's obviously more eco-friendly to buy a product that is made from something that is recycled. So buying recycled toilet paper, I use who gives a crap and I have a discount code with them. And then we don't buy paper towels, but if you do buy paper towels, buying paper towels made from recycled materials. So the advanced swap here would be using a bidet instead of recycled toilet paper. Like I said, I have tried this before and I might be running out of links to give you up here, but it'll be linked in the description if you wanna see my experience trying out a bidet for a week. It was interesting. But a bidet is a good option um, as opposed to recycled toilet paper. And then a reusable paper towel is a good option instead of recycled paper towels or just any sort of linen towel you have laying around. Earth Hero has resources for that because they have unpaper towels over there. Essentially reusable paper towels, right? So that you're not using the disposable recycled ones. So that's kind of the advanced swap that I had in mind for this video. Let me know which one of those you fall under. Do you do you still use toilet paper or do you use a bidet? That's all I want to know from you on this video. I know I want to know if you guys are advanced or beginners, but like really I just want to know how you wipe your ass. Let me know in the comments. So this next one is really interesting. When I started my journey to more sustainable living years ago, okay you guys, this started um, in my sophomore year in high school. So it's been over 10 years now that I've been on this journey and I don't think you're ever 100% perfect. When people ask me how long did it take you to go zero waste, you guys, it's been 10 years so far and we're not there. So it's been a journey, but my point is, back then when I started to learn about things, I started to look for cleaner ingredients in household cleaning products, right? I was very easily greenwashed by the word biodegradable, by the formulas saying green and natural and all that sort of stuff. And in the beginning stages, I wasn't so concerned about packaging, to be honest with you. Back then, I thought the formula was more important and I still think that both of those things are important. In all of my cleaning products currently, I make sure that both of those things are meeting my standards, if you will. So the beginner swap is kind of to look for more clean ingredients in your cleaning products. And it can be hard to know how to do that, I will admit. I encourage you to make as many swaps as you can in your cleaning routine, in your beauty routines, and that sort of stuff. And I have videos on all of that. I'll have them linked in the description, such as how to choose a eco-friendly zero waste shampoo. I'll show you my cleaning routine if you want. Uh, I have a lot of videos on those topics. You can check out. So for beginners, go check out those videos. For people who are advanced swaps, obviously you want to be looking for good formulas, but also less packaging. I have my routine down at this point, if that makes sense. Like my dishwashing liquid I get from a small woman owned company in a refillable bottle. For my dishwasher, we use drops which come with no plastic and have a very clean formula, which I'll have linked below. You can get drops on Earth Hero. You can also get drops for your washing machine. So they make laundry pods as well. Again, you can get them plastic free and the formulas can come unscented, which I think is really, really good. For my laundry, I use eco nuts, which are little nuts that turn into soap, which is mind blowing, but they also come plastic free and then you can compost those nuts when you're done with them. So the idea here is in the beginning, don't worry so much about packaging. Try to find what's closest to you, what's easiest to you to make a slightly more environmentally friendly swap. I just want to take the time to explain here that <laughs> my whole point really is that in the beginning, right years and years ago when I came to this lifestyle I thought what was important was the formula so I started by buying the slightly more natural formulas that you can find at like your everyday grocery store and I think that's perfectly okay to do so in the beginning while you're still trying to figure out what the process is what you're looking for what's good and what's not etc and I also think it can help because if you go straight from using 
Clorox bleach to using like your DIY all-purpose cleaner that you're making yourself, they're very different. And I think that it could help to move slowly and gradually from super toxic cleaners down to the super clean ones. And through my series of doing my going into people's houses and trying to get them to change, I found that moving someone directly from a conventional product to my products that I use is a little much and people end up going backwards. Take it at your own pace. You don't have to go from one extreme to the other. Um, you can take it slower in the beginning. <laughs> That's how I did it in the beginning. And then once you've got the ideas down of what formulas are good, what things are eco-friendly and what's not, start looking for things to also be sustainably packaged where you start buying things like drops, eco nuts, etc. Does that make sense? So yeah, those are all the swaps I wanted to talk about today for beginners and for people who are more advanced. I hope you at least learned something new. Let me know if you did. And uh, if not, just thank you so much for being here and staying tuned to when I'm going to talk about the giveaway way <sighs> so crazy I can't say thank you enough for being here and supporting me along this journey. Um, obviously, 200,000 people is insane to me. It blows my mind, but it just makes me feel very fulfilled. And for that, I could not be more grateful to actually feel purpose in my life's mission because it was one of those things where... Mm, it's one of those things that in high school, you want to be that person that changes the world and you're the person in your family that's weird and the person in your friend group that's weird that cares about the environment and the planet. And you're so determined that it's not weird to do that, that you want to make a difference and one day you're going to figure out how to do it. And then you're 27 years old, sitting in your office with 200,000 people following you for advice on how to save the planet and it is the most gratifying a thing that could ever happen in my life. And uh, I just thank you so much for making my little like 16 year old dreams come true um, where I feel like I've actually finally been able to make a difference um, in this world and that's all I've ever wanted. So thank you so much for being here. And uh, woo. <laughs> Just thank you so much for being here and I hope that you get as much fulfillment out of watching my videos. I hope that they've been helpful for you. I hope that when you come to something that I put out, it's somewhat entertaining to you or educational in some way. I try to keep it fun while also helping you guys learn new things consistently. That is my goal. So um, thank you so much for being here. The giveaway is a little complicated because I don't have a set thing that I want to give you. Honestly, what I want for this 200,000 subscriber giveaway is I've been saving for the last, I would say six months, quite a bit of money up so that I could ask you guys what you want. So all I want to do is pick three of you and supply you with whatever it is that you need. Because if you're in the beginning of your journey, I could give you a $300 gift certificate to Earth Hero and you could get everything you could need for your beginner journey but maybe you're more advanced and the thing that you need in your life right now is a rainwater barrel catchment system maybe that's what you need in your life right now so I didn't want to set up this giveaway as a one thing only um, because I don't know where you personally are at in your journey and uh, I want to leave that open to you so I do want to have a an easier way to compile all of this so I made a form on my website where you can go and tell me what it is that you want and why and why you want to be chosen and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick three of you guys and I'm gonna give it to you. Um, you can literally request anything you want. If you get a little crazy, I won't be able to pick you because I can't afford it. Don't ask me for a Tesla because your girl hasn't been saving up that much. But um, yeah, I don't think the limit, I don't want to set a limit. I just want to go through and see what I could be of help with and then pick you guys that way. So the link to enter is going to be below. You don't have to have any social media accounts. This is just for my YouTube following. Um, I would also love if you left in the comments what things you're going to be leaving over on the site so that I could like get an idea by reading the comments before I go and read all the submissions but I just really want this giveaway to be meaningful to whoever wins and I thank you so so much for being here once again I'm so sorry that I cried but um I just want you to know how much I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching this video so remember until next time you cannot do all the good that the world needs but the world needs all the good that you could do thanks guys bye